Hi, welcome to Learn Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand correlated nested query in SQL. So far, we have covered two other types of writing queries. One is uh, uh, one is by using uh, joins, means uh, Cartesian producted. So one table, one query, one single query. Within that, all the tables that are involved uh, uh, to get the output or uh, uh, Cartesian producted. And from that, we are going to get the values. This is one kind of uh, writing the queries. The other kind is uh, by using the nested query methods where uh, the inner queries the outputs of the inner the, the output that we are going to get from the inner query all those values are compared to the values of the outer query and we are going to get the uh, uh, output the other way is correlated nested query it is a nested query but it is correlated so the name itself states the meaning so we'll try to understand we'll try to understand this uh, name uh, the meaning of this uh, name uh, in our example while well, solving this example uh, uh, here the the theoretical part states that correlated nested queries are used for row by row processing so the correlated nested queries are used for row by row processing each nested query is executed once each nested subquery this point is very important to understand each nested subquery the inner query okay nested subquery is executed once for every row so the inner query is executed once for every row of the outer query for every row of the outer query the entire inner query will get executed once so that is very important to understand so this point is very important to understand we'll try to uh, uh, by by simply just reading these statements you may not be able to understand the concept we'll try to understand this while uh, while we are uh, understanding while we are uh, uh, while we try to understand by using it uh, using the example a correlated nested query is one way of reading every row in a table and comparing values in each row against the related data so against the related data we are going to compare uh, each row of the outer table with the every row uh, every row of the inner table so let's try to understand this by using example this example query states that find all employees find all employees who earn more than the average salary in their department so the employee so uh, what this query states is we have to find the employee who is earning more than the average salary of all the employees in their department so let's try to uh, so i have uh, for convenience i have uh, found the average salaries of uh, average salaries of uh, all the employees who are working in each and every department for example if you take department number 5 the average salary is 33250 for example if you take department number 4 the average salary is 31 thousand and similarly for department number one the average salary is 55,000 okay so uh, who are all the employees who are working in department number five these are the employees four employees are working in department number five and the average their salaries or these are the values see here these are the values and the average salary is of all these four employees is 33,250 so what the correlated nested query will do is we are going to take each and every row first we are going to pick this row and the related data in our case it is a uh, department number and uh, salary so the salary of this employee the salary of this employee is compared with the average salary compared with the average salary if it is true if it is greater than if the salary is greater than this number then that the details of this employee means the first name and last name uh, will get printed as the output okay so uh, and similarly if you take so let's compare what are the values that we're going to get from this query so after that we will try to understand the query so the department number employees working in the department number five or uh, one two three four okay these are uh, uh, the, uh, the the employees who are working in department number 5 are these are the employees so is 30000 greater than 33250 no it is not greater than so this value will not get picked 40000 is it greater yes it is greater so in our output we are going to have franklin and similarly 38000 is 38000 greater than 33250 yes it is greater 
so ramesh will also be there in our output 25000 greater than uh, is it greater than 33250 no it is not greater so this employee details will not be there in the output similarly if you take department number 4 see here department number 4 i am using the straight line for identifying department number 4 employees and the employees are these are all the these three are the employees now the average salary is 31000 so is 25000 greater no is 43000 greater than 31000 yes they are he is greater so this uh, jennifer will also be there in the output now is 25000 greater than uh, greater than the average salary no it is not so this 25000 will not be there similarly if you take department number 1 department number 1 the average salary is 55000 we have only one employee in department number 1 and the average salary and the salary of that employee is going to be equal but they are not going to be the uh, greater than the average salary so it is not going to be considered this this uh, this employee will not be considered because they are the average salary of all employees in department number is equal to the to this employee salary we have only one employee so this one this one will not get considered so the output is going to have franklin jennifer and ramesh now how to write this query how to write this query is so we have taken outer and uh, the name so we have taken only one table employee table and in the outer we have taken the aliasing name as outer and inner we have taken the aliasing name as inner so let's try to understand this query the output should have f name and l name from employee where outer salary outer dot salary is greater than outer dot salary is greater than and the inner query inner query is average of inner dot salary so in in this query so what the uh, correlated nested query states is every for every row for every row this inner query will get executed every time this inner query will get executed for each and every row whereas in nested queries if you compare the nested queries with correlated nested queries uh, uh, this row this will get executed once and the values that we are going to obtain the values that we are going to obtain will be compared with in uh, to the uh, uh, to the outer query okay so this is how the nested queries will work but correlated nested queries how we are going to distinguish a nested query with correlated nested query is let's check the inner query select average of inner salary inner dot salary the average of all employees from the employee inner the uh, aliasing name is inner where where this is the important point to understand where outer dot dno so for outer uh, for this outer query the d number is equal to inner dot d number so here here the details of the outer query are compared with the details of the inner query so this is what we call it as correlated so this is a nested query how can we know that this nested query is going to be a correlated nested query is here the relation is there this is correlation so the values of the outer query the values of the outer query are compared with the values of the inner query so any such comparisons are there wherever the details of the outer query see here this point this point states that each nested subquery is executed each nested subquery this is our nested subquery is executed once so this entire nested subquery will get executed once for every row of the outer query for every row of the outer query so what happens is first this outer uh, this row will get picked and for this row this entire nested query will get executed inner nested query will get executed and uh, now the salary 30,000 is compared with average of average of all the employees see here whose department number is equal to inner dot department number so for 5555 five, 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 the average salary will be 
the average salary will be we are going to identify the average salary average salary so this department number five for this row will be compared with each and every row so this one will be picked this one will be picked this one this one so average of all these salaries will be found and that average value is 33 250 now this 33 250 will be compared with 30,000 so is it true no it is not true means is it greater no it is not greater so these values will not get picked so this is how the correlated nested queries will work this is how the correlated nested queries will work so for better understanding we'll take another analogy which is for loops for example if you take for i is equal to 1 i less than i less than 10 i plus plus so this is our uh, inner outer query and the inner query is for j is equal to 1 j less than 5 j less than 5 j plus plus so how this concept how this nested queries will work is so for every value of i for every value of i for i is equal to 1 so this entire for loop is going to iterate for 5 times so this is what the nested query right so in the same way for each row for each row of the outer query all these so the inner query will get executed every time for each row the inner query will get executed uh, uh, inner query will get executed uh, every for each and every row so how we are going to distinguish it is uh, whether it is a, a correlated nested query or not that is obtained by this the use of the use of the details of the outer queries in the inner query this makes the distinguishing between nested query with the correlated nested queries so i am explaining it with that in intensity because this point is very very important to understand as it is our first video on correlated nested query in order to make uh, in order to get the complete clarity so i am uh, explaining it uh, very slowly and i am repeating the words again and again so that the concept will get uh, uh, you will get understand the concept that is related to the correlated nested queries so uh, and it is very important to understand okay now this is uh, all about the uh, uh, concept related to, to correlated with the examples correlated nested queries now we will try to execute this on our machine and see whether we are going to get the same output that we got uh, theoretically or not see here the same query nothing uh, is uh, different the same query is used execute it okay jennifer franklin and ramesh these are the three employees who are getting the uh, who are getting the who are getting the salaries uh, whose salary is greater than the average salary of all the employees who are working in that particular department in which that employee is working okay so this is all about this is the basic understanding of correlated nested queries in our next classes we will compare we'll see lots of lots of examples on correlated nested queries and also some keywords that are related to the correlated nested queries in our next classes uh, along with the examples hope you got the clarity in, on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching